Marijuana is the second most used drug after alcohol and in 2013 was the most commonly used illicit drug. At one point it was even listed in the United States Pharmacopoeia as an ailment for labour pains, nausea and rheumatism and even today it has had a lot of attention in the media for many other therapeutic uses. So the drug is considered by many to be a wonder drug for both recreational and medicinal purposes. The ancient Egyptians also had a wonder drug that held a similar status in society and that was the blue lotus and in this video we will explore exactly what it is. The blue lotus also known as the Egyptian water lily or the sacred blue lily is a water lily with bluish white petals. Its flower buds rise to the surface of water over a period of approximately three days and open in the morning and close towards the night. It is a plant that is frequently depicted in Egyptian art such as in stone carvings, paintings and the walls in the temple of Karnak. In these different art forms the water lily is usually associated with partying, dancing, spiritual and magical passages such as the rite of passage into the afterlife. It is also regarded as the symbol of the sun in Egyptian mythology due to its opening in the morning and closing up at night. Blue Lotus contains the psychoactive compound apomorphine which is a derivative of morphine. Apomorphine stimulates dopamine receptors in the hypothalamic region in the brain. By stimulating the dopamine receptors, it mimics the action of dopamine which is a chemical in the brain associated with movement, motivation and pleasure. As a result, the consumption of Blue Lotus leads to the feeling of euphoria which is a state of intense happiness. It is also reported to lead to a pleasant feeling of warmth in the head and upper body as well as a comfortable and a dreamy feeling. This has been said to expand the state of awareness and as a result was used during the rite of passages in the ancient Egyptian times to apparently achieve a higher state of consciousness. It is also the reason why some people with depression use it today as it is claimed to allow the user to step away from their depression under its influence and determine what it is exactly that is causing their depression. The blue lotus was also used as a party drug and aphrodisiac by the ancient Egyptians. It allowed the user to be more social and talkative as well as increase their libido. There are even paintings showing the drug being used at sacred temple gatherings for sex parties. They ingested the blue lotus by infusing it with wine while they partied. Despite its popularity at the time, the effects described as a result of the drug were very mild and may be the reason why its usage decreased over time. Nowadays its use is unheard of, but those who do use it either smoke the water lily, brew it into a tea or just eat it. It is used as a sedative for the treatment of slight insomnia and as a natural anti-anxiety drug. It's also used as a social drug for treating sexual disorders, as a muscle relaxant, treating gastrointestinal problems and for menstrual pain relief. However, these benefits mentioned are purely anecdotal with no significant research to back them, probably because the effects of the plant are very weak. So it doesn't seem like Blue Lotus will ever be restored back to its former glory, but it is a great example of the shifts in recreational drug use over time. If you have found this video interesting, please subscribe to the channel and check out the other videos.